So now we are going to solve the problem uh, Castellingo's of uh, according to Castellingo's first theorem. Suppose uh, we have a beam AB cantilever beam uh, having six meter span and uh, out of this six meter, uh, this four meter is subjected to UDL load of twenty kilo newton per meter and at the free end that is a B, uh, it is subjected to 60 kilo newton uh, point load. Now here uh, we are going to solve the problem. So here the value of E into I is given to us that is E I is equal to 10 raised to 14 newton into mm square that is given to us. Now see here suppose uh, we consider this point as a C point and uh, for AC it is given that the moment of inertia is 2i and for BC that is moment of inertia is only a i. So it is something like the uh, cross section if we draw the cross section then it is something like this it has the it has the 2i and for this portion it is only a i. So this is uh, uh, what is uh, um, uh, given uh, here uh, that is the EI is not constant. Now uh, first of all we prepare the table in which we write down the uh, segment then the origin then limits I will explain limits then equation of mx and d m x upon d p right now here segment uh, it means uh, we consider the two segment that is uh, b to c and c to a we always move from left right to left that is free end to uh, fixed end so here uh, for the first segment that is b c and second segment that is c a right so we consider this much portion first and then after we consider AC portion right so uh, for BC uh, we have the origin that is the B and for uh, CA we have the origin that is the C now limits means uh, here if we take the cross section at the distance uh, X from the origin right that is B so let me draw the rough sketch uh, and large sketch of this portion that is uh, this is the uh, C point and this one is the B point. So here it is subjected to point load of the 60 kilo Newton, right? 60 kilo Newton. Now suppose we take the cross section somewhere here X at the distance of X from the B. So the your origin is B. So we are taking the cross section. So it means uh, if minimum value of X will be 0 when we are at the B and maximum value that will be the 2 meter right so x will be here maximum value of x will be 2 so here minimum value of x that will be 0 if as we take the different cross section between b to c then it from 0 to 2 meter right so your remit for bc section is 0 to 2 meter 0 to 2 meter now we take the cross section um, before we taking the cross section whatever the loading is given at the free end so don't consider the loading at the B at the free end. You consider that this uh, the B point is subjected to B point is subjected to suppose a P P load. Suppose it is subjected to P load. So at the cross section this point X, your moment will be M X. Now and M X will be M X will be force force into distance. So that will be the minus p into x p into x that is the moment so your equation will be uh, minus p into x forget about the actual loading at the b support right and the differentiation if you do the delta m upon delta p then it will be a simply a minus x right differentiation of minus p x with the p that will be the x now similarly uh, we consider the further we consider at the A point right at the A point now here your AC point uh, sorry uh, AC point is subjected to some load that is a 20 kilo Newton per meter 20 kilo Newton per meter UDL load so here your 
here your your origin is is c so here your x will be zero for this segment ac segment your x will be zero at c point at the origin and x will be four at the a point right so here it will be a zero and here it will be a it will be a four right so your uh, value limit that is zero to four now we take the cross section between ac x x at the distance of x right from the c so if i take this this portion as a whole as a whole then i will take i will draw so here it is a c point and here it is a a point and it is subjected to the udl load right and we are taking the cross section taking a cross section from the x this point c at the distance of at the distance of sorry at the distance of x from the c distance of x from the c this distance this is the x now due to this udl due to this udl there will be a load there will be a load right that is 20x right so actual load is 20 newton per meter so if you taking the cross section x so for this much distance you have the x distance so force into distance that will be the point load right so when we are solving the udl load we convert that udl load into the into the point load so for this udl load so that is 20 into distance x and it will act at the distance x by 2 and here it is x by 2 right so now we generate the equation we generate the equation here for the x so here your moment will be so if you taking the moment here at this point you have the same at the b point you have the p force right you have the p force at the b end so your distance this distance b to c is that is given that is 2 meter right so total distance that will be the 2 plus x right 2 plus x or x plus 2 so moment due to this this load so i will show it like the green right green green color so your moment due to p that will be the moment due to p that will be the p into 2 plus x p into 2 plus x sorry here the moment at this point at this point p into x by 2 so one moment that is the p into x plus 2 and another moment that is 20x into x by 2 another moment that will be 20x into distance that is x by 2 so 20x square by 2 so uh, now we uh, prepare the e equation right uh, we generate the equation for the x so first one that is minus p in bracket 2 plus x minus 20 x square by 2 right and if you do the differentiation of this equation then uh, here it is a uh, no p so it will be a zero and uh, this will be the uh, minus 2 plus x so differentiation of mx with replace delta p so it will be a minus 2 plus x 2 plus x so now i'm just uh, removing everything here uh, because that is not uh, required Uh, for our further discussion so first of all you just find out the uh, find out this uh, uh, table in which uh, you just derive the you fix up the segments of the beam right segments of the beam then origin then you generate the uh, equation for the mx and its differentiation now uh, we know that uh, um, uh, the deflection at b deflection at b so it is something like that uh, this is your section this is your beam a b and when it is subjected to this type of the loading what happen it will deflect like this right and we want to find this deflection this point will be transferred to the b dash and that is delta b we want to find this delta b so we generate the equation for delta b from the <coughs> strain energy principle so delta b will be 1 upon 
ई आई इंटीग्रेशन दैट इज जीरो टू एल एम एक्स इंटू डेल्टा एम एक्स अपॉन डेल्टा पी इंटू डी एक्स दिस इज अ जनरल इक्वेशन सो वी पुट द वेल्यू हियर दैट इज फॉर द बोथ दी सेगमेंट वी डू द समेशन ऑफ दिस बोथ दी सेगमेंट एंड दैट विल बी द टोटल रिफ्लेक्शन राइट सो फॉर एस इट विल बी अ वन अपॉन ई आई इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू एल जीरो टू एल हियर यूर इक्वेशन इज योर इक्वेशन इज माइनस पी एक्स यूर एम एक्स इज माइनस पी एक्स पी इंटू एक्स इंटू माइनस माइनस एक्स दैट इज डेल्टा एम एक्स अपॉन डेल्टा पी इंटू डी एक्स सो दिस इज द सेगमेंट योर सेगमेंट बी सी देन For segment, another segment that is CA. So it will be one upon EI, one upon EI, integration zero to zero to here zero to two. That is limit zero to two and zero to four. And here your Mx is minus P two plus X minus twenty X square by two. That is your That is your m x and into your delta m x upon delta p. That is uh, minus minus two plus x into d x and that is your four b. Sorry, c a. That is for your c a. That is for c a. Now, if you do the integration and if you solve this uh, thing, whole thing, <coughs> then Uh, here we write down. We are solving this problem. So here it will be a one upon e i into one upon e i into that is p p into x square, right? So it will be a x cube by three, right? So p will be common. So minus p and x square. The integration that will be x square that will be x cube upon three. And the limit of this particular is from zero to two. <coughs> and if we just write down here, that is the um, your uh, you just solve this this problem and solve this equation by multiplying this two uh, x and uh, p into. So I am just writing down the um, uh, solving this particular thing that is. One upon two, two will be common, right? So we take out the two at outside of integration, zero to four, zero to four, and uh, here in the bracket that is p x square plus four x plus four plus twenty x square plus ten x cube. Into dx. If you solve this, then that will be uh, something like this. So uh, then we just uh, minimize and uh, uh, here the value of this p. So value of p will be replaced by the 60. You will replace it with the 60. So 60. So p will be 60. That is given, right? If it is not given, then you put only a zero, right? You put the zero. If you don't have the point load at the Pre and then you put p is equal to zero. And by solving and putting all the value, I'm not going to detail of the mathematics. But uh, uh, delta b will be your delta b will be. So you solve this mathematical thing that is to prove your mathematics. So that will be the twenty seven point seventy three mm. Right? So you get this delta b. Right? Delta b. Now. Uh, We are finding the slope, right? We want to find the slope. So next will be slope, slope of the then we find out the slope, uh, and uh, our next uh, that will be the slope. Sorry for the inconvenience. Now for the slope again, we will do the uh, same uh, procedure. You write down the segment, segment, then origin, then your limits, then 
the equation for mx and what it will be it will be delta mx upon you are finding the slope so it will be delta m so again you have the same segment that is b2 c b2 c and c2 a origin is your b and here your origin is c limit will be same 0 to 2 and here 0 to 4 we write down the moment so as i told you uh, in the previous you replace this p uh, load with the p right so you just apply the only a p load now when you are finding the slope you apply some moment that is suppose m right that is suppose m so if you take the cross section here x x then at the distance of x x so that will be the uh, at the distance of f you have the one moment that is you applied that is minus m that is applied moment into this actual load that is 60 into x so minus 60 into x similarly again we take the cross section x x at the distance origin of c as a distance of x so x plus 2 into 60 that is a one moment your plus moment that is already you applied moment that is minus m minus 60 into x plus 2 and minus minus your load your your load that is 20x into x by 2 right so that is minus 20x square by 2 and delta m that will be minus 1 that will be minus 1 now you put the equation for the slope that is theta b is equal to theta b is equal to 1 upon e i integration that is 0 to l 0 to l m x into delta m x upon delta m into into d x into d x and we put the value for section a b n sorry section b c n c a so 1 upon e i integration 0 to 2 our limit 0 to 2 now what is the equation for mx that is minus m minus 60 x into delta mx upon delta m it is minus 1 it is minus 1 sorry minus 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 1 into dx so this is for your segment b c plus segment your another segment that is c a so 1 upon e i integration 0 to what is the limit here 0 to 4 so uh, m x so minus m minus 60 x plus 2 minus 20 x square sorry 20 x square 20x square by 2 into into minus 1 that is a delta mx upon m into dx and this is for your segment c a right you simplify uh, the equation and put m is equal to 0 you replace m is equal to 0 and you will get the slope of the particular beam at b point that is equal to 0 0.00 0 0.0076 radian right and if you multiply it with the 180 and by pi then you will get it into the degree that is 0 0.405 degree right and that is your answer so this is how you can solve the uh, problems of a uh, different uh, beam uh, using the Castilingo first theorem Castilingo first theorem